In this video, you'll see how to create a pivot chart, then add a title, and have that title change anytime the region filter changes. So if we select one region, the title shows its name. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this pivot table, we have food categories and two years worth of sales and the regions at the top, we can use that to filter and just show a specific region's data or multiple regions. We'd like to create a pivot chart from this pivot table. And to do that, I'll select a cell in the pivot table. And then on the ribbon tab, go to insert. And for recommended charts, I'll click that and see what they suggest. So it's showing a clustered column and that looks good. So I'll click OK. So that puts the chart onto my worksheet. I'm just going to move it a bit and maybe make it a little smaller. And now we would like to create a title for this chart so it explains what we're looking at. To add the title, I'm going to the Excel ribbon and there's a pivot chart tab here and I'm going to click Design and at the left, Add Chart Element chart title. Right now we have none. We could put one above the chart, but as you'll see that squishes down the plot area a bit. So I'm going with centered overlay. We don't want it exactly where it's showing right now, but we can move it later. So click that. And now we have our chart and it's a very generic chart title. I'm going to drag that up. You'll see an outline as you drag and then let go. Before we make any changes to the chart title, I'm going to show the region filter. Right now it says all because I haven't used that filter yet. If I click, you can see that there are four regions. Right now all is selected, so all four regions are showing. And at the bottom, there is a check mark here for select multiple items, so we're allowing people to select one or more or all of these regions. Now, if I remove the check mark for all, everything is unselected. And if I select two or more of these regions and then click OK, the filter cell shows multiple items. If I go back in and just select one, it shows that region's name. So our options for what we're going to see in this cell are all a specific region's name or multiple items. We're going to need a formula here that looks at this cell and then creates text based on what's here. We can't create the formula right in this chart title box. So we're going to create a formula on the worksheet and then link this title to this cell. To help us keep track of what we want this formula to do, I've added the rules over here on the worksheet. So we want it to start with annual sales. Then if this cell, C2, has a region name, as it does now, it should show that region name. If it shows all, then the title should say annual sales, all regions. If we've selected multiples and it says multiple items here, then it should say annual sales, multiple regions. And in this cell, going to start by checking C2 to see if it says all. And if it does, I want it to say all regions. So if C2 equals all, comma, all regions, then I'll put a one here just as a placeholder temporarily. So right now, if it says all, it's going to show all regions. And if we change that, so now it's multiple items, now it's showing that one. So it's checking. This is if true, otherwise it's going to show a one. So our first piece is done, and now we want it to check all. And then if it's not all, we want it to check and see if it says multiple items. So we're going to replace the one with a check for multiple items. I'll 
delete that part and put in my if C2 equals multiple items, multiple regions, and put a one there to complete that second if, and two closing brackets for both of the ifs. So now it's showing multiple regions or it's showing all regions. Now we need to tell it what to do if it's not all and if it's not multiple items. Because right now if I select a specific region it, it's going to just show one and we don't want that. So back in our formula, make this box a bit bigger, we're going to be replacing this one. And what we want it to do, if it's not showing all or multiple items, is show the value in C2. So we'll type a C2, and now it shows West. So now it's doing what we want to give us the region name, and we want to add the annual sales at the beginning. So back in this cell, I'm going to put the text that we want at the front, and then an ampersand to join it with this region information. Equal sign, the text that we want, the ampersand, and then if it's all, show all regions. If it's multiple items, show multiple regions. Otherwise, show this region name, and now I'll press Enter. And there's our formula, annual sales in the West, or annual sales, multiple regions. So our formula is working nicely here, but right now it's not affecting our chart title. We want to connect the chart title to this cell. And to do that, click on the chart title and make sure you don't see a cursor flashing. If I click again, we can see the cursor flashing and now you're in the text editor. We just want to have the chart title selected. So click on the border if you see that cursor. And up here in the formula bar, just click and type an equal sign, and then click on cell G1 where the formula is, and press enter. And you can see the, the title here. I'm just going to move it a bit. So it shows the title, whatever's in this cell. If I select all, it changes automatically to show the title based on what our formula shows. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.